Okay, so look at that. Massive mess. It has been two weeks since the last session and everything has gone to pat pot. We've had a storm that blew my window in and that caused mass annoyance here. Plus we had the great cat explosion or the great, great cat crossing that uh, knocked everything down. But I believe we are still ready to go. If I, I'm going to check with my previous uh, video, like I've got that as a reference, and we should be actually fine. And that's pretty much all I need to do to get back on track, is just clean up this little bit here. It's very, very windy. You might see this buffeting around. It's, cause it's got a huge big wind. Okay, so, where are we at in the game? Uh, what's this doing here? Does that go there? Uh, hmm. I'm just going to pause this and find out if that is correctly set up. Okay, so, I'm not entirely certain to be honest. I know that this guy had a lot of stuff. So... Got the definitely got those two things. I think she out of stuff. I really don't know. So, oh well. Unfortunately, that's going to be a bit of a screw up. But I'm just going to continue from here because uh, that was no good. Now, so let's just have a quick rundown and exactly what the situation is, uh, regardless of whether we've not in the exact situation we were last time I played but yeah like I said it's been two weeks and everything got blown over okay so uh, let's uh, I might just zoom in up the top this time so we can uh, see a little bit clearer okay so we have good old Caroline Finn, and she is in a lot of danger here. She's only got one health, and she's got two sanity, but she has a clue token. She has a yellow dice card, plus she's got three tokens worth of, uh, well, you know, victory points, or whatever you call them in this game. Then we have Mandy Thompson, who only has two health, one stamina, and she has four worth of tokens as monster tokens. And then we have Amanda Sharp, and she has lots of stuff. She's got four, five tokens, and she has a Discard before ro rolling to restore sanity and stamina card. She has a spell card and she has a discard after rolling to make a uh, turn an icon into a lore icon. And lastly, we have Trashcan Pete, and he's doing really, really well. Uh, she's actually got a lot of health too, sorry. She's got uh, three, four, five health. She's got full health and three stamina. Trashcan Pete, who I uh, hated for a while but now I've come to like, has three, three uh, clue tokens, three stamina, and five health. So he's doing very well as well. He has two red dice. He still has the, 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 his companion, and he has one, two, three, four power worth of. Uh, Tokens. Okay, so. Well, what else is going on? How's this? This is fine. Maybe zip zoom a little bit closer. Okay, so what else have we got? 
we have Unnameable Habitat, which has a terror of losing one every time you roll it. We also have The Missing Records. We have Blood on the Floor. We have Lights Out. We have The Public Laboratory, which is quite interesting because it also has containing and capturing the yellow dye. And we have The Storage Closet. So we're not in the true greater position here. And we have over here... Uh, five, six, seven Doom Tokens out of 12, uh, Elder Signs, beg your pardon, out of 12, and we have one, two, three, four, five Doom Tokens on the Doom track, so that is the situation we are in. Now, uh, I also have been resolving these cards at the end of the videos, so we've already resolved the top, so we have a No Lingering Effects take place today. Okay, so, that's the situation we're in, let's, uh, let's play this bitch. Okay, so, well, for starters, what we really want to do is get rid of that place there. Uh, it has a locked die for starters, which isn't good. Now, unfortunately... She has only one health left, but at the beginning of the turn, she does get to restore a sanity to someone. So let's restore it to Amanda, so bring her up to two. Okay, so she has... The only ability that she has is to re-roll. And apart from that, she has a lowly one stamina. Okay, so this would actually be the perfect one for her to do, except it has a stamina on it. So, I don't really see a lot of hope for her, so what we're going to do is I'm actually going to have her stay at the, if I can get around here, <laughs> she, oh, well, I can't do that, I get in front of the light, don't I? Ah, it's all so technical, I don't know how Mythos Gamer does it, man, this takes a lot of effort. Right, uh, so I'm going to come to this thing. And pay two trophies to heal either stamina or sanity to full. Play four trophies to still heal both. Now we've only got three, so I'm going to heal her stamina to full. And that's going to cost me two trophies. Okay, so she sits it out again. This is the second turn that she's been sitting on the sidelines doing a zippo. So let's pay that trophy, and we can now restore her, Ooh, there's another, I don't know where that came from, oh well, so <laughs> we're going to restore her back to full, so she goes back to four health, so she's ready to roll next turn. Meanwhile we have Mandy Thompson, now she's got nothing but uh, tokens, so I think best thing for her to do is to attempt something simple and try and get some kind of bonus. Now, she is going to do the unnameable habit. Habitat. Habitat? Yeah, the unnameable habitat. This is this one over here. Now, this actually is not as easy as it looks, I guess, because I just remembered that we are playing Shub Niggurath, which means that the skull of this uh, little cultist dude here is actually going to also need a terror icon. So we are looking at a minimum of one, two, three, four, five dice out of six to pass that, which isn't very good. But I don't really feel that there's anything that's... Well, well, let's just have a look here. Okay, so this is five. Let's just have a look at this. This one has five dice, and we get one little... Uh, uh, spell, and on a terror, we lose a stamina. So, it could very well, you, true rolls could, uh, you know, drive this character insane. But, we need five dice to actually pass that. But over here we have another one, five dice will also pass this. And it gets us a doom sign. So, do we want to attempt that? That's the question. And, 
I think we're going to we're going to give this a go. Uh, this one also is one, two, three, four, five, and it gets us a. Okay, we're going to do this one. This is the one we're going to do because it. Uh, this one's pretty hard as well, but it it's the same chances as this. Oh, it does have the down arrow though. That makes a bit of a difference. Okay, well, let's give it a go. We can at least kill off that monster. Wow, that's a really hard one here. We need two Terra Icons and possibly two of those Icons. That's quite hefty. Okay, so... Let's roll. We are, she is going to head down to uh, actually she's going to stay where she is. Yeah, you know, let's just keep where she is. A lot of indecision going on with this character. Okay, so she's going to stay where she is. Let's roll. We are looking for a terror icon and something. A uh, terror icon skull or a scroll. And boom, we get a scroll. And a skull and a terror icon, so we get everything we need. So we'll just take the terror icon and the scroll, and that will kill the cultist. And now we just need a scroll and a three. Well, we get a scroll, so let's place that on her and now we have to throw away one dice and now we have two rolls in which to get three so this is a very doable we get a two come on actually I'm gonna pay her ability which gives her the ability to uh, do its Click that doom clock. I'm going to pay her ability, which gives her the ability to use uh, to roll two again. So she's going to roll two again. Again, nothing. And now she's going to roll one more time. She needs a three. Whoa! Can we see that in the corner there? It's a two. So we fail. She fails! She fails miserably and she loses her stamina. Okay, so. That's not good. She loses one sanity, beg your pardon. And we've used her ability. But as someone pointed out, and I checked it in the FAQ, uh, her ability can only be used once per day, and it is already, uh, well, it's midnight right now. Let's just go to midnight because it's the next turn. But doing It is now midnight, and it is one of our big guns' turns. Uh, there are no effects at midnight, but we do have to flip the card straight away. So, let's uh, flip a runeski and draw the next card. Uh, okay. Come on, focus. Warning, there is no immediate effect today. Nice. All tasks that require at least one investigation result require an additional investigation revo result. Ah, well, that's pretty bad. So... Well, that makes this one completely undoable. This one is equally hard to do. So... I guess the only real thing to do here is for... Amanda, where are you? There she is. Oops, I moved the wrong one. There we are. So, I guess she's going to go there. So we need a three. You have to do this one in order. There's no terror effect. So we roll and don't have any dice so let's roll we need a three and we get a three 
trying to remember to reach around from the right side of the camera. All right, we only needed a two, but we got a three. Now we need a three. And this time we get a two. So that was not good. So this gets discarded. Okay, so we got a three that time. And now we need a skull and a terror icon. Nothing. I forgot to use any of her abilities this turn. There is a terror icon, but we have to discard one dice and that takes her to a fail. Okay, so we're having a terrible turn this turn. She has to lose one sanity and one stamina. And now it is Ashcan's Pete's turn, and Ashcan Pete has the has the goods. So, oh, he cannot do this one because of that terrible effect. So I think he's going to go into the same location. And he is going to spend one of his icons, doink, and take the red dice. Okay, so let's uh, roll a runeski. And we need a two to beat the first one, and we do. Now, does he have any, he does not have any spells or anything, so he cannot, should have used spells the last time. Okay, now he needs a three. Okay, so this is an interesting question. We have a two and a one. Do we want to spend those dice? Basically, if we roll again, we have to throw a dice away, so we're one dice down. And then, if we win, we have to use one dice. So, it's actually no less dice if we actually use two dice to pass this stage. Lastly, we need a Terra and a Skull. And we get a Skull. So, let's put the Skull... Uh, on trash can Pete and throw away. Does this have a skull on it? Yes. Does this have a terror on it? Oh, it's got the. Uh, it's got that. That's a terror. Okay, so then we throw away this. And now we have a nice juicy roll. We're looking for a terror icon. And look at that. Beautiful. Trash can is my legend. He gets the terror icon, and that quest is completed. Okay, so he receives another clue token. He's got four now, my god. And he can receive, uh, oh, we receive a doom sign. Uh, doom, uh, whatever, one of these things. And we also get to receive a common item, and because of his ability, we can actually draw any item. I think we can even draw spells, and that is what I would like to draw if I have the opportunity. Or spell. Uh, so I can't read upside down. Yeah, so he can choose to, cho to receive a spell, and that is what we're going to do this time around. So let's grab a spell. Nice. Probably the best spell you can get. So he is our money maker. Okay. So, bong. It is now the next round. And 
Right, so now it is back to this chick's turn. Oh, we have forgotten to draw the next card. What? And out it comes. And it is... Tempest in a Teapot. I felt the air in this room turn foul and threatening. The evil did not want. Okay, this is again a directed quest. You have to do it in order, and it's quite a bad one. This one requires four at the top, which is an extra icon, extra dice. So this is actually one, two, three, four, five dice, or four dice with a red or yellow. A red, sorry. I don't think yellow actually has the four-sided investigation icon, does it? Yes, it does. It's locked anyway. Okay, so... Again, uh, well, she can now do this one without actually risking death, so I think she is going to. She's going to come over here and do this. So we need a skull and we need a terror icon. And look at that. That's exactly what we get, a skull and a terror icon. So that monster is Kaputskis. Oops, I rolled with this. Damn it. Let's try that again, but not cheat. Okay. So, skull and a terror icon, please. And look at that. Skull and a terror icon. There you go. That's karma for you. Pays to be good. Be a good boy. Everyone should be a good boy. Okay, and now we need two skulls and a three, and we've only got four dice to do it. So this is probably impossible. So well, let's give it a go. Okay, so we do not get anything we want. We do get the three, actually. So we're going to place the three upon us. And now all we need is two skulls Let's try and get those two skulls, and we don't get either of them. Now, we do have a clue token. We can use that, but is it really worth it? And, I mean, it doesn't really give us a whole lot. She does lose one stamina, but, uh, well, I, I th I, let's just do it. Let's just do it. We're going to spend that. Let's see if we can get that other skull. She does get a skull. Uh, oh wait, Terra Icon did work. I rolled a Terra Icon last time. You know, I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did roll a Terra Icon last time. I shouldn't have. Damn it. So that's two gone. She is now insane. Good work. God, I suck at this game. She did get this. Okay, so she is insane. Okay, so insanity is not good. And poor old Amanda, well not sorry, it's not Amanda, poor old Caroline is now a gibbering wreck. And she is dead. Bom, bom, bom. Now, some people play that you can just, you know, redraw a hero, but I actually prefer playing that, uh, I mean, she's dead, okay, especially when I'm playing by myself. If we're playing, if I play doubles with my mates, we allow redrawing, and we actually, we, instead of redrawing, because we think it's a bit weird, because people can purposely kill their heroes to get, you know, new items drawn automatically, uh, so what we do is, oh, wait, a Doom Track... Woo, get another thing added to the Doom Track. So what we often do is uh, we have a custom rule where you just stay on home plate and you keep having to roll until you get a certain defined thing. Usually it's whatever matches the monster. So in this case, well, why don't I just play that rule? Let's just play it. Show us, I'll show you my custom rule. She's going to stay there. Okay. Now, 
It is Amanda's turn. So we get another boing. It is now Amanda's turn. And she is not in a very good position either. She does, does not really have much around her. So she is actually going to stay at the home base and she's going to spend one, two, three, one, two, three, four. She spent four monster tokens. And it's obviously not good to spend monster tokens because they go back in the bowl. And for that, she gets to restore her entire stuff. So she's back to full health. Nice. Okay, now we're at Amanda. So it's bong. Amanda's turn. Now, what is she going to do? She has a spell, she has that law thing, and she has a, re a, a restore full going on. Again, not a lot of choice here. Uh, I guess uh, she's just going to come over here and finish off this quest while it has no, no, it's only got three icons. So let's do that quickly. Okay, so she gets a skull, which you place on top of her, and then she loses one sanity. Okay, so now uh, we take a cut, cut thing out. Okay, now we just need another skull and a three. And we lose another two sanity, which would send her insane, but we have this card which says discard. Oh, it says discard before rolling. Damn it. I'm playing like a pudding. Okay, so that's the end of that. <laughs> Jeez. This is terrible. Discard before. I thought it meant discard after rolling, I thought it said. So, okay, so she is also driven insane. Arkham Horror is really, uh, uh, Arkham Library, where the hell are we? Museum is definitely having a bad effect on my cards and she is driven insane we get another doom token this is not looking good there's only two doom tokens to go it's all up to trash can I think and yeah so trash can's turn we have to risk it he needs to get that doom token we just do not want to go while this thing is still on the table so he is going to come over here and do this uh, do this one as well. And oh wait, it's boom doing. It is midnight. This gets moved away. Maybe we don't have to attempt that particular one. The next quest is Either add a doom token to the doom track or the investigators as a group discard a spell. Okay. Well, we have to do that. When the clock next strikes midnight, discard all other world adventure cards from play and do not replace them. I don't even know what that means. Are these, are these world adventure cards? What are world adventure cards? I actually do not know what that means. What's a world adventure card? So, look here. No glossary. Cards and markers. Investigator card, adventure card. These are adventure cards. What is that? What is that meant to mean? When the clock next strikes midnight, discard all oh, other world adventure cards. Right, okay, that makes more sense. 
Okay, so he can now actually attempt some of these more desperate-looking dudes. He has to discard, of course, his uh, really cool spell. Okay, so you need one, two, three, four just to kill that monster. You need four dice just to kill this monster. This is like an impossible card. And it has an effect on it that I haven't been reading. What does it say? Oh, that's just place the two monsters. Okay, so. Well, we can't do this, because even if we win, we get a Doom token, which is pretty horrendously bad. But we do get uh, Elder Sign now. We have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We need four more to win. It's getting pretty tense. Tensorama. Well, I think he's going to come over here and try this one. He's going to spend his icon and get another dice. Let's see how we go. Okay, so he gets the three, which is the first thing needed. Fortunately, he doesn't have his really cool icon, because then we could have won the next roll straight away. Now we need two skulls. Okay, but he's going to spend one of his massive amount of clue tokens. We're going to not re-roll the skull. Oh! Luckily, we rolled a skull and a skull. Okay, let's try not to screw up that badly again. And we now need two scrolls. And he's going to spend another two cl uh, clue token. And let's get another scroll. Two scrolls, please. There's a scroll, which he is going to place upon him has to throw out a dice and now we need one more scroll spend that last two cl clue token, come on, we've got one more clue, clue, clue token let's roll nothing, we use Amanda's ability to roll two dice, come on oh my god, and we spend the last clue token come on, we need one scroll Ah, and that is a failure, terrible failure, and we have to discard old Duke to not pay the failure cost. Okay, so that was a horrific turn, and uh, yeah, so awesome. Well, that was a bit of a disaster, horrendous disaster, in fact. So, let's... Uh, continue on because I don't want to stop and we'll show you what we do here is what we do here is we take out the red dice and we look at Shubby we need two scrolls and a fear icon we have two scrolls and no fear icon okay so she remains dead okay it's now Amanda's turn uh, sorry and I've Custom rules the clock does not continue if she does not revive. It's now Amanda's turn. Uh, hmm.
She's going to true this one. We just need two skulls and a three. There we are. We get that all in one roll. That's nice. That's what we like to see. Two skulls and a three. So that is uh, completed. Goes into her victory pile. She gets to draw another spell. And uh, we draw another card. Alright, and we have a fairly bad one as well. This one's doable at least. Uh, remains of the High Priest. Can you focus that? Yeah. So we just need a skull, a scroll, and a six. Okay. It is now this chick's turn, Amanda's turn, sorry. She, again, she needs two scrolls and a terra icon. She gets a scroll and a terra icon, but no other scroll. So the clock has not advanced. It is now Trashcan's turn. Boing, the clock has advanced. And he is going to... Also attempt this one. Okay, so he gets a scroll and a six. He has to discard the terror dice. He gets a scroll, so he's going to put that on top of him. And then he has to discard one more dice. So looks like this is a failed adventure as well. He gets a three, uh, so that's a fail, that's a fail, it's a fail, and he loses one more life. Splunk. Okay, so, ooh, sorry, kicked the thing. It's the next turn, Amanda's turn, she gets to roll. She does n oh, Terra Icon, scroll and a scroll, fuck yeah, that's the way it's done, bitches. After a little bit of insanity, she is back to life, she comes back to life, she's back at home base, and she gets all her stuff back. So that's uh, four, three, four... And she gets three, six, and she gets a common, and she gets an uncommon. And that's the end of her turn. Booing! It's the next turn. It is now Amanda's turn. What is she going to do? I'm feeling a lot better now that I got her back onto her feet. Madness don't mean jack when you're a psychiatrist, yo. Okay, so. What is she going to do? I think she's going to come over here and attempt this sucker. What we've got to do basically is try and survive the Doom Tokens long enough to get enough, uh, you know, cards that we can attempt some of these greater ones because they've all got failure at a Doom Token. Some of them even got failure at two Doom Tokens. We cannot beat this mother. <laughs> it's just too full on. So... We roll, and we get a much better roll. We don't have any uh, terror icons, but we do have a three and a three, which means we get six using the minimum amount of dice. And I think she's going to trap the other scroll there. And now you just need another three which she does not get. She needs another three, which she does get. Okay, so three and the scroll means that she has passed this one. So, oh, come to the end of the deck. 
Let's uh, reshuffle this baby. And okay, so this is gone. She gets a clue token. And she gets a book. Gets that spell back. And gets this. And we draw another one. Ooh. Okay, this is a good one. This is a good one. This is the kind of card we want. A secret gathering. It does have a Santi loss every time you roll a terror. But it does not have ordered. It only requires... A minimum of four dice to succeed and we get an elder sign and we get a gateway so it's that's really really good okay and now it's the boing and it is the end of the turn this gets discarded And that's the end of that effect. And now we ring the next bell. Let's see what we get. Okay. The right tools. Either add a Doom token to the Doom track, or the investigator as a group must discard a unique item. When the, ne when the clock next strikes midnight, each investigator must discard one ally if able. Okay, so... as a group must discard a unique item. We have one unique item which is lucky. We don't get to add a tomb token. Okay, so now no question where we are going. Trash Can Pete heads over straight to the secret gathering. He's got three stamina so he's got quite a good chance at this. Remember, we just hit midnight, so we can use Amanda's ability yet again. Oh, wait. It's not Pete's turn. Sorry. It is her turn. Can she come back to life? No. Complete failure. Now it's Pete's turn. He's going to do the same thing I just said, so let's see how that goes. Okay, so that's a pretty terrible roll. We lose two dice and a sanity. Oh man, I absolutely suck at this game. If we lose this quest, he actually will go insane now. I am so horrendously bad at this game. Why anyone would watch this is beyond me. Okay, let's... Uh, wait, two dots are gone. Okay. So, this is a failure. We've already failed. Okay, so... I've got to start paying more attention. He goes insane. Okay, and uh, just so I'll just do it now so I don't forget, but I'll advance the Doom Clock, and that is the end of this session. We are back on Amanda's turn. Okay, so obviously I played like a complete pudding, and uh, just a little note to the gaming world, I picked up this recently, and it is awesome! Okay, so I'll catch you next time. Ha, ha, ha.